People may ask, well, why should I care about separation and what you are saying here? We say it is because it has everything to do with who you are and why you're in the world and why you suffer and why you have limitation and why you need the greater strength and power that God has put within you to guide you, protect you, and to lead you to a greater land. It has everything to do with your unique design as an individual which was made for you to assume a specific role in the world, something you could not understand unless this role became apparent to you and you were able to recognize it, to receive it and prepare for it. Otherwise, having intelligence in life is a curse. You're aware of your death, fearful of all that you might lose, living in anxiety and apprehension, seeing the dangers of the world around you, ever fearful, ever guarded, ever resentful, ever angry, ever feeling weak and helpless. For a sentient being, though, the awareness of the future and the regrets from the past is an immense burden and source of suffering and misery. Only a greater purpose in life can utilize the past and the future for a greater purpose, thus relieving you from the suffering and the anxiety that you will otherwise produce in an overwhelming way. Without this greater purpose, people are sedated, they are obsessed. They are addicted to drugs, they are addicted to people. They are fixated because they are trying to escape their own misery, their own anxiety, their own uncertainty, their own grievances, their own fear and all of its manifestation. Do not condemn people for being obsessed and fixated. They are trying to escape something you're trying to escape. They are just taking the wrong path, that is all. Their approach is futile and dangerous and self-destructive. God has given you the antidote to living in the physical reality. And the antidote is the deeper knowledge God has placed within you. Beyond the realm and the reach of the intellect, it is. You cannot understand it with your intellect. You can only respond to it and follow it and allow it to demonstrate to you its power and efficacy. For knowledge within you is without fear. It is not corrupted by the world. It represents the internal, the eternal part of you. It is going to live beyond this world. But it is concerned that you may fulfill your destiny here. And to that end it works ceaselessly on your behalf trying to orient you through many different means to follow a true direction and to stick with that direction and to not lose heart to be pulled off track by beauty, wealth and charm or by despair and anger. So while God allowed the universe to be corrected to the physical universe you live in, God also gave the antidote to suffering and to separation at the very beginning. Because you cannot really be separate from your Creator and from creation. Even being obsessed in the physical reality, you still cannot escape your origin and your greater destiny. Your sin is all a matter of time. And time here can be equated with suffering the suffering you experience to various degrees every day of your life. You do not even know how much you are suffering because you do not know what it's like to be free of it, except perhaps for brief moments here and there. Even your state you call normal is a state of suffering, a state of apprehension, concern, anxiety a state overshadowed by the difficulties of life and the great change that is happening in the world at this time. 